I did a video recently uh, called Why Women Ghost. And in that video, I read through the text of this woman who had gone out with a guy who her best male friend had connected her with, thinking they'd be a good match. They went out. She said she wasn't feeling it. And so when he tried to hit her up, she basically was very nice and said, hey, like, I appreciate you taking me out. And it was, an, it was a pretty decent time, but I don't see us doing anything further. I wish you nothing but the best. And this guy went off and said, it's just because you're a sick cancer patient. You're 35 plus and you're a six at best and you want a high value man. And you like, like all this horrible stuff. You can check that video out. It's the one I did before this one. But suffice to say, like this woman went through it, right? So I was trying to give guys an example of like the reason why women ghost is because they've had experiences like this where they try to nicely tell a guy, hey, it was a great date, but I'm just not feeling the spark there. And Guys go off on these kind of women. And I brought up the story of my friend who he did the same thing happen to her. She was trying to like go out with a guy and she wasn't feeling it. She said, Hey, great time of the day, but whatever. And this dude st ended up stalking her and like harassing her on the phone for like months on end, you know? So I try to let you guys know because I don't want you guys to take ghosting personally. Sometimes it's not even about you or like how much respect she has for you. It's about the fact that she's dealt with other a holes that have brought threats to her life to where she's like, it's better for me to just like not talk to him at all than, than to try to reasonably have a conversation with him about not having a spark. But this guy responded and he said, I still don't agree with your opinion on ghosting. She rejected the guy and it's not our fault. He took it personally. I still take it personally when someone shows interest in ghost, be an adult and gracefully reject the guy. And if he goes overboard like that guy did, then immediately block, especially if there is significant distance where she shouldn't fear for her safety if he goes ape crap. She should have immediately blocked him after, but she's still engaged in responding. She clearly has her own issues to deal with. So this is very much a perspective of a guy that is not taking into account a woman's experience in this realm and also the other various factors that surrounded this situation to where that couldn't happen. So in this person's situation, she met him through a friend that they both that they both have in common. Right. So when he says um, um, be an adult and gracefully reject the guy. And if he goes overboard like that, like that guy did, then immediately block him. She's not taking into account. He's not taking into account the fact that there's going to be some point in the future where all these people gather together again. And she's thinking, man, you know what? I didn't have a good time on a date with this guy, but he's my friend's friend. Also, there's going to be a point in time where we probably all are back in the same place again. And I don't want there to be any bad vibes. And I don't want it to reflect badly on my friend. Should we meet up again? So, you know what? I still have to be reasonable with this guy and be able to cordially turn him down for the sake of his friendship with my friend and my friendship with this guy, right? And so when that dynamic is there, he she can't just be like, I'm going to immediately block him. Also to the point, men don't think about the fact that, you know, men that are trying to really get their way with a woman, even one that doesn't want them anymore, is going to find ways to contact her. Like in the case of my friend, she actually did block the guy. And all he did was just get a burner phone and text her from that one. And then when she blocked that number, he got another phone. And he's like, he had like seven different numbers he was able to contact her from. So then he says, okay, well, you know, if there's no, if there's significant distance where she shouldn't fear for her safety, the problem is these days, for most people, you can go online, type in somebody's name and pull up their address, their phone number, their email, where they work, the salary that they make, like internet's pretty ridiculous in terms of like the stuff you can find out about somebody just by surfing the name online, right? So even if she did block him, he could just go online, type up her name. Oh, she lives here. Oh, she works here. And now she's got even more of a problem. And that's not information that she even gave out to him. Okay. So this is why I tell you guys that you can't, you, you don't understand the world of hurt that women deal with the amount of guys that try to stalk them, that try to overrun them, that try to overpower them, that when they try to be nice and cordial and say, hey, I had a great time, but I'm just not feeling it, that how many guys get butt hurt by that and try to harass them and send them loads of texts. Like that guy, she because he, he says he should just, well, she, she, he was still, she was still like trying to talk and engage with him. The text I read, he was texting her at night and she responded a little bit and then she stopped. And he texted her for the next day and a half straight until she was like, dude, like, what are you doing? And even then she was still trying to be cordial. But the point is that she did ignore him and he still continued to let on. So again, what if, what if she blocks him? 
Now he's going to get another burner phone because he already has her number and is going to hit her up on that. Continue to text, continue to uh, harass her. Like this is why. Then, but this is all goes to this is why women are more apt to ghost you because the few times that they give a guy the grace to say, "I'm just not feeling it," this kind of stuff happens. And just with the women that I know. I've heard this kind of story enough to where I'm like, you know what? The If I go out with a girl and it doesn't work out and I try to reach out to her and she doesn't hit me back, I'm not trying to send triple or I might send like one more text like, hey, everybody there, hello. But I'm not sending triple, quadruple, quintuple text for a woman that's clearly not interested, especially when there are other women out there that I can go after if this one's not feeling me. But I, there, so because of that, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be butthurt if a woman decides to ghost me. I'm going to be relatively indifferent. I might be like, oh, it sucks. It would have been nice if it worked out. Okay, on to somebody else. Like, I'm not going to spend my energy on somebody that doesn't want me. But more importantly, I'm. she has the uh, capacity to be able to date whoever she wants, if it's just like I do. So if it's not me, then I'm not going to fight for that. I'm just going to be like, on to somebody else and give her her right to be able to find somebody without me sitting here and trying to harass her and make her feel like she's about to get extremely harmed on account of I get butt hurt because she didn't want to date me. So that's why he's saying, oh, she has her own issues to deal with. But no, she handled this in the most graceful way that she possibly could and still got harassed. So at some point, guys, we got to look at ourselves and realize our egos are going to be butt hurt when it doesn't work out with the woman that we thought it should have worked out with. That does not give us the right to go after them in a harmful way, you know? So that was that comment he left. Uh, then this guy left this other comment, and it was under my video, how women can be flirty yet not see you as their boyfriend. And in that video, I talked about this. And there's a story of this guy where uh, he'd been flirting with this girl on and off, and he thought maybe she was interested. Turns out she wasn't, but they went to a party, and she was like, hey, let's go to the car. Maybe I can give you a handy in, in the car. And then so then they got to the car, and she was like, I was just joking, and she didn't give him a handy. And he felt some kind of way about it. And I just, these days, guys, uh, my general position with women is this, is that I have to show up and be indifferent because women, their, their moods fluctuate, their hormones fluctuate. At any given time, a woman could change her mind on a situation. You know, us guys, we're pretty much like, once we make a decision to do something, we're going to do it. If we say we're going to go out with the girls tonight and hook up with her, our whole agenda that night now is to go out with her to hook up with her and very few things are going to change that outside of like, maybe she smells really bad down there or she says something about her mama. Like we're, we're, we're on the agenda. Right. But because I, again, I've had the experience of most women are in ebb and flow and things can change on a dime. I've had it where I'm hooking up with the girl and midway through, she gets her feelings and it's like, but wait, is this just about the hookup? And now she wants to stop. And I could be that guy. that's like, no, I'm already inside you. Like we got to keep doing stuff. I've literally at times full stop, pulled out and said, hey, let's talk. What's going on? Because I, because of regardless of how I feel about a thing, if you're dealing with somebody whose mood is going to be fluctuating, then you have to learn that that's going to happen. And however things roll, you go with the punches. Now, I've ironically enough found that like when I do go with the punches, that women typically tend, whatever feeling they were having about something like, oh, we shouldn't be doing this, isn't that? I'm like, okay, cool. Do, 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 do. Then they're kind of like, oh, he... It almost like a short circuit to their brain. It's like, oh, he he's he's cool with me just just stopping and changing my mind. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna go back to the thing we were doing because now now that I know that he's not butt hurt by it and it's not gonna like hurt me before or whatever. Now I'm gonna do some stuff. So I find just like by, by being indifferent and rolling with the punches, they tend to get on my program after all. Like if I'm trying to go for a hookup and the woman's like, oh, I don't know, but like, okay, cool, do 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 do. Then it's like now they want to hook up. And to guys, it's completely frustrating. But again, the, the more you know how women operate the less frustrated you'll be when these kind of things happen. But I was saying that thing like, yeah, he felt some kind of way about it. And I was just like, dude, like that's prone to happen. Like you can't let it hurt your feelings. If they, if they're flirting and they change their mind, some women will do that. You just know, okay, don't date that woman. And so this guy said, and dating coaches bag on the red pill community for opting out of dating women and saying the juice isn't worth the squeeze. If a chick I'm with jokes about giving me a hand job, I'm going to use that as a sign that she's interested. Well, she very well could be, but here's the thing. Again, you don't know the, the, the moment that she says, hey, I'm down to do this thing. You could still do some things that cause her to change her mind, or she could be starting to have second thoughts like, well, I don't want to be seen as a bad girl. And if I do this thing, how's he going to think of me? And like, she could be tripping her own stuff up leading up to the action you want her to do. Again, 
that doesn't mean she's not interested. It, 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 in the moment that she said it, it could very well mean in the moment that she said the thing, she really thought she'd be down for it. And then it was coming to the event where it was about to happen. And she realized I'm not quite there. You trying to argue the point to her and trying to negotiate with her why she should do the thing is rarely ever going to work, guys. I'm sorry. Like, if you want to deal with women, you got to know that with their changing their minds, ebb and flowing, that they might not, they might go from wanting to do a thing to not want to do a thing. Now, some guys get on me and say, so does that mean we always got to follow what she wants? I'm not trying to get you arrested. Real talk, all right? But to the point is that as you get to know more about how women operate and you start doing more of the things that are going to cause her to be put at ease, you'll have less of these things happen. But when they do happen, again, the worst thing you can do is get butt hurt by it because then she's going to go from thinking he was in it for me to like, oh, he really did just want the hookup. He just wanted the handy. That's all he wanted from me. He didn't actually care about me. And women want to know that you care about them so that way they will care to give themselves to you. So then he says, this guy, me, uh, this guy's justification to excuse her behavior of doing this is just laughable. No, I don't care what anyone says. You don't joke about giving someone a hand job. She needs to be held accountable for her piss poor behavior. Grow a daggone pair and call her out. I swear, men are beta simps that worship the vagina. So uh, look, I'm not in the habit of like saying you need to do all things in order to get the vajayjay. And that, that's not what I'm out of, about at all. What I'm telling you guys is that you need to learn to be less butt hurt by women's actions. If a woman promises you, hey, at the end of this date, we're going to hook up or do something, and then she doesn't do it, you could choose to just not date her again if that's if that's your prerogative. I'm saying being butthurt about it and calling women out about it has never in the history of foreverdom got a woman to get on your program. Like to be like, well, oh, if she says she's going to give me a hand job and she doesn't, then I'm going to just, I'm going to call her out, blah, blah, blah. No woman has been like, hey, you know what? You're right. I was, I said I was going to give you a, a hand job and, and now I'm not doing it. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry I pissed you off. Here, pull your pants down right now. Like that is never going to happen. So you have two options. And this is what, this is the kind of stuff that I do. I'm just, I teach you guys based on what work has worked for me, right? So I've been in situations where a hookup was possibly going to happen. And then last minute, woman has resistance. Well, I don't know if I want to, I don't think, because here's the thing. And my response is like, okay, cool. Back to the TV, watching TV. Because my thing is this, I tell girls this all the time. I'm, my goal is to get to know you and have a good time with you in whatever capacity that means. So if we hook up as part of that, fantastic. If we don't, I'm still getting to know you, fantastic. I legitimately hold that stance because that puts women at ease into going from in their mind thinking he might just be in this for sex. I've had times where I've been dating women for several months and then they'll be like, well, you might just want me for, for a hookup. And I'll be like, okay, well, let's just take, let's just take sex off the table. Like we don't have to do anything. We good. And then the women's response. Oh no, we no, Okay. I was just joking. Okay. I see what you, okay. I see you're, you're serious. Okay. never mind. Let's not do it because I, I pulled their card. They, they want to hook up. They want to do these various things, but society has made them believe they're going to be harder if they do it. Their own subconscious is thinking, am I going to be seen like a dirty girl or is he only going to want me for this thing? And so sometimes with women, that's going to pop in the head. That is barely a thought that ever pops up in a guy's head. Like the guys are really ever thinking, but is she using me for sex today? We might be thinking, is she using me for money? But we're rarely thinking, is she using me to just for a hookup, all right? So they're going to have those thoughts sporadically. And when that happens, if you go about responding with, oh, but you promised me this and you said this, all you're doing is proving them right. And I'm just trying to get you guys in the headspace to understand, A, when you're indifferent, whether she hooks up with you or not is not going to bug you. And also, when you let less things bother you, you're going to get what you want. But to say that, you know, women that do this and, or, or say these things, and hey, to be fair, some women are going to play with you like that. Some women are going to be like, they're going to have the vagina in front of you, hook, line, and sinker to try to get you to do stuff. At the point that you recognize it, you can walk away from the situation. You ultimately have control of how this goes. So if you're bugged by women that are saying, hey, I'm going to give you a hand job, and then they don't, fine. Hey, I'm not saying you shouldn't be bugged by it. You can totally walk away. I'm saying you need to be more indifferent to this kind of stuff because this is likely to happen. A woman, even a woman that is like highly interested in you and ready to jump your bones might still have that last minute, but no way. I don't know if I should. I mean, I really like you, but I don't want this to be a thing. And then you go away and I'm really hurt and blah, 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 blah. Again, my response is, okay, cool. Let's just wait. I find, I, I find doing that is like the magic potion to making women want to hook up with you more and to get you what you want. So you could try to argue them and be mad at them and be pissed off and prove them right. Or you can be indifferent and say, 
I just want to get to know you, whatever that means, and then put her at ease. And then once she's at ease, she will come up with the magical idea to want to suddenly hook up with you. It's amazing how that works. So hopefully, guy, that helps you out. Hope that that gave you some clarification. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high.